This new AI tool is going to make people a lot of money. It's going to help people drive traffic. It's going to improve their SEO. It's going to get them more exposure, more leads, and it's completely free. It's called Notebook LM, and it's owned by Google, and it's run or powered by Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now, a lot of people are talking about ChatGPT. AI itself is not that new anymore but there are not a lot of people that know and talk about this. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of its powerful features, and we're gonna look at how we can use this to generate a podcast without speaking a single word. So I'm gonna close myself off and let's go and look inside. So in order to create your own podcast, you'll want to come to notebooklm.google. I'll leave the link in the description, and then you'll just click Try Notebook LM, and it will open up here, and you'll want to click on New Notebook. Now here, we need to provide a source so that the AI has something to create the podcast from. There are a variety of different options available. It connects directly to Google Docs and Google Slides. So if you've got something in there, you can just click on one of these and import something. You can choose a link from your website or you can copy and paste some text. So to demonstrate this, what we'll do is we'll come to this article. So I've got a travel website and this is an article all about Nagoya, which is where I live in Japan. I'm gonna grab the URL of this. I'm gonna copy the URL, gonna come back here, click on website, paste this in here and hit insert. And this is going to start to pull information about this particular article. Now I can change the name of this up here. So I might just delete that and call this Nagoya for my own reference. Now there are lots of features, but I wanna draw your attention to this one here, deep dive conversation. And this is going to generate a podcast which is going to be spoken by two people, a man and a woman. So let's click on generate. Now it does take a couple of minutes to generate, but once it's done, you'll be really surprised just at how natural this sounds. We've got, while it's generating, we've got a summary of the article here. Um, if you want to improve on this article, you can have this AI generate other sections. So I might wanna have it generate an FAQ. So I could click on FAQ and it's going to generate that FAQ for us, which we could then potentially copy and paste and add to our article to improve our article. Um, we've got it here, look, FAQ. What makes Nagoya worth visiting? How long should I spend there? Can I experience it in a day? Unique attractions. Now, of course, you wanna go through and you wanna fact check this, make sure that it's accurate. I know Nagoya, I've lived here for 25 years, so I'll be able to tell if there's anything in here which is not very good. And if I want to you know, reword it or any of that stuff, I can, but it's there for me. But that's not really the special thing because a lot of tools can do that. So if we click back on a notebook guide, it's still generating the conversation. So I'll pause the video and be back in two secs. Okay, so now it's generated this podcast. It's seven minutes and 31 seconds long. So let's just press play and have a listen. All right, everybody. Japan, sushi boats, vending machines, that'll sell you anything. Yeah. But um, when it comes to planning that dream trip to Japan, does Nagoya even make the cut? Well, you know, some people, they call it Japan. Pretty good if you ask me. So you, have, you do have the same two voices all of the time. I think in the future, they're going to add to these voices. We can't change the voices right now. But to me, that sounded super, super natural. And I've listened to several of these that I've created and they just sound really, really good. So what are we gonna do from here? Because now we've got this audio created, which in essence is our podcast. The first thing we'll need to do is download this. So we click the three dots, we'll download this, and we can see it's downloaded here, but it's downloaded as a WAV file, which is completely fine, but they can be quite big. You can see here 20.7 megabytes. So let's click on this and we've got this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna open this with a free tool called Audacity. You can get Audacity, you can have it on a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. Let me just bring this up. So we can see here, it's brought in the file here. Now, all I'll need to do is basically export this as an MP3. Now it's gonna be off screen right now, but if I go to export audio, oh, there we go export to computer, wanna make sure that it's got .mp3 and it's mp3 files here. If it's not, just open that up and select it. You can rename it if you want. So I might rename this, is Nagoya worth visiting? And then I'm gonna click on export. And now I've got it on my computer as an mp3 file, which is really cool, don't need to save it. 
So I have the, I now have that audio file basically compressed. Now, if you want to compress it further, that's fine, but just having it a little bit smaller is important. So how can we take this now podcast and then use it? Well, let me share what I've done in the past. So this is one of my articles here. And this one yesterday, I created this podcast and I uploaded this to SoundCloud. So I created a free SoundCloud account. Um, I uploaded the podcast, added this little image, and pretty much within a day, it's had six plays. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but that's six plays from a SoundCloud account that basically no one knows exists. People have just randomly found it. I've had somebody repost it as well. What we've got here on this one, this is a podcast that I created for an article about vending machines in Japan. Now, this is something that I created myself. I got ChatGPT to create some HTML code to add my logo and add my own branding. And then we've basically got a podcast without having to upload it to a third party service. Now, if you'd like to know how to do that, I've got a link in the description and that's going to give you a paint by numbers tutorial on how you can take any podcast created by Notebook LM and have it branded to your website and then how you can just embed it within your site so you've not got to worry about people going elsewhere if you don't want to. You could also share it to Podbean. So I created a brand new Podbean account just before shooting this video and I've got my um, podcast here for a different web for a different article and you can add links to these sites as well which is great because not only do you get a backlink but people can click through and read the article this is um the free soundcloud account that i made i've got a couple of ones here you can see that this one started to get a little bit of traction as i mentioned earlier i've also just created a brand new spotify account so i've uploaded this to spotify and again what you can do is you can add links to these descriptions you can syndicate these you can share them but the important thing thing is apart from obviously the links that go back to your site is exposure because some people are going to be on Spotify some people are going to prefer SoundCloud or Podbean or they want to come to your site directly if you do have a podcast element it's only going to help so if this one for example not everyone wants to read long articles some people prefer to listen and if you provide them with that option it's only going to be of benefit to your website people are going to stick around longer because they're listening and people are going to be happier Google's going to be happier because it likes people that do things a little bit differently there are literally no negatives to having this element to your website now you might not want to have it on every single article that's completely understandable and it's true that in time that you know people might realize because we've got the same couple of voices that it's an ai generated podcast but it sounds natural it keeps people's attention the way that they speak their inflections the intonation and it's just really, really good quality. And I've not found anything that can do this for free so quickly, so smoothly. So that is, in essence, how you can create your own podcast without ever having to speak. You can use articles from your website to generate the content. You can share it across multiple free sources, as I've shared. And you can even generate your own branded podcast and put it on your own WordPress site for free. Again, there's a link in the description that shows you exactly how to do that. So why don't we go ahead and actually upload this new podcast. So let's go ahead and start with SoundCloud. Now, again, you can create a free account. With all these things, free accounts are limited in relation to the pro account, but you can create these little images on Canva. This is just my logo. I didn't even make it transparent. So what I'm going to do first is click on Upload, and then I'm going to choose files to upload, and then I'm going to go with that and start uploading this. Is Nagoya worth visiting? I'll add a question mark. Now, it doesn't really fit a specific genre here, so I'll just call it uh, learning, because we're learning about Nagoya. So there are a couple of things we can do to make this look nicer. We can upload an image, and we can describe our track. So what I'm going to do here is copy this title, and because I'm being a bit lazy in this video, I'm going to go to ChatGPT, and I'm just going to say something like, write me a... 400 character description for a podcast, spell that correctly, about, and then we'll put that in there, and we'll just grab this. Obviously, again, you want to just make sure that this is true and it's what you speak about, what the um, audio is about, but we'll copy this and we'll come and we'll put that in there. If you want to have an image, you can go ahead and create one on Canva. So let's go ahead to Canva. So here I am over at Canva. So I'm going to click on Create Design. I'm going to come down to Custom Size. I'm not exactly sure what the best size is, but let's go with 400 
by 400. We'll create new design. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I'm then just going to go to elements and I'm going to just look for Nagoya. Hit enter, go to photos. Obviously, if you've got your own photo, you can use that and that's fine. So these are all Nagoya. So let's drag one of Nagoya Castle. We'll put that in there. I'm going to click on the little crop thing and just make sure that Nagoya Castle is kind of in the middle. So that is done. I'm just going to add a little bit of text and I'm just going to put is Nagoya worth visiting? And then what we'll do is we'll just highlight all of this and we'll make this white so it can be seen. It may even be better if we click on these three dots and click on effects and give it a little bit of a background. We can change the background to something that stands out. Again, you don't have to go to all this trouble really, but there we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag this kind of in the middle. Share, download, leave everything as it is and download that PNG file. It should download very shortly. You can see it's downloaded there. So then I'm going to click on upload image, go to my downloads, is Nagoya worth visiting? Bingo, we've got that there. We can come down and we're going to hit save. We want to make sure that it is public by default. Uh, and that should be that. Now let's go to our track and let's see. And we've got our podcast here. If I press play, let's just put it in the middle hey somewhere. Japan. I love a good miso soup as much as the next person. Sure. So it's pretty cool. Again, it's so easy to do. Now what we can do obviously is we can take this and we can click on share. We can share it wherever we want. We can grab the embed and we can put it on our website. Um, and if we put it on our website, then it will look something like this. Super easy to do. What we we'll, what we can do now is we can go and do the same thing for um, Spotify. So new episode, wait for this to open up and we're going to select a file. We've got the desktop. So we've got the same kind of deal and it's a very simple process. So I'm going to pause the video and just fill all this out so you don't see me doing it again. Okay, so I've got the same title. I just asked ChatGPT to rephrase it, as you can see here, rephrase, so we've not got the exact same text. I've added a hyperlink to my blog post as well. I can publish it now or I can schedule it. That doesn't have any explicit content. There's no promotional content. I'm not trying to, you know, sell anything, etc. I'm just taking people to an informational post on my site. We may as well uh, do this now just to show you. Click on next. Okay, don't worry about anything here. Personally, I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to engage with people, but that's entirely up to you. I'm going to click on next. Okay, we've got a review. We've got our nice logo here. We've got our title. It looks really, really clean. Let's go ahead and publish this. And then if we want to, we can, you know, share this with other people. So again, nice and simple. So these are two that I've just published literally just before this video. And you saw this one just now. So it's now my job to either be consistent with this, to start sharing this podcast. I could mention it on my website. I could email it out to people. I can talk about it on YouTube. But over time, um, we can definitely generate some traffic with this. As we saw with um, the SoundCloud one, let's just go back. We had one of the tracks just started getting some traffic automatically. So we had this one here, six plays, it got one like, it got a repost, so pretty cool. So that is that. Also, we could do it on Podbean as well, but I'm not gonna you know, do it on Podbean just now because that's gonna just take a bit more time to go and upload it. There's probably gonna be tons of tutorials online to show you how to upload your podcast to Podbean. But again, if you want to make it branded to yourself and not worry about any of these third-party tools, then there is a link in the description. And that's going to take you to a page like this where I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create your branded podcast for WordPress. I'm going to give you the exact HTML code that you can use. I'm going to show you how to replace bits of it with your URL, your podcast link, your logo link. And then it's just a case of embedding it on your website and you can you know, have your own branded podcast on your site. 
So other benefits of this could be more and more people start seeing your podcast all over the place. They come to your website. You can have display ads that show up. You can get more people aware of affiliate links. You could include pop-ups on this particular site. So this one, for example, I could easily have a pop-up which goes to an affiliate link. I've got another video that shows you how to do that. You could promote your newsletter and get more people to opt into your newsletter because more people are coming to your site because they're coming from SoundCloud and Spotify, etc. It's literally so easy to do, so quick. And now you've not got the excuse that, oh, I don't want to speak. I don't want to interview people because you don't have to do that at all. It literally is. And I know it's cliche, but it literally is a game changer when it comes to this kind of stuff. So that is just one way of using Notebook LM. Now, I'm going to share with you some other ways in future videos. I'm going to share how you can use Notebook LM to basically change your PLR content, to create courses, to do affiliate marketing. You've just got to be a little bit creative and actually take action. Watching these videos and doing nothing isn't going to help you. You've actually got to go and you've got to implement this stuff yourself with consistency. So that is Notebook LM, how you can create free podcasts, generate traffic, potentially make more money, get more exposure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.